is Jillian Shaw with another episode of Spectacular Magazine Shorts. I have here the wonderful, illustrious uh, drama teacher at Hillside High School, Wendell Tab. Also, Tiffany Abson and Mr. Xavier, Dr. Kaysen here on today to discuss um, an actual film they have put together with Hillside alumna Jasmine Jones called Why Mosquitoes Buzz. So they're here today to talk about this wonderful film and we're excited to have you all here today welcome thank you thank you thank you glad to be here glad to see you all again uh so tiffany tell us about this actual film and why it why is it so exciting and actually you know being a part of a hill asylum as all of us are um why this film is so important all right, well, Why Mosquitoes Buzz is adapted from an African folk tale, and it was originally written as a book, Why Mosquitoes Buzz in People's Ears. Um, it was taken on by the genius of Jasmine M. Jones and turned into a stage play. Um, this stage play teaches children about responsibility, the importance of telling the truth, um, and it's really exciting for them to watch. It teaches them patterns, it um, tests their memory, uh, helps them to go through uh, details. So it's interactive as well. So it's something for um, children of all ages to enjoy. You can really get a lot out of it. Um, one of the reasons I would say it's important is because um, it's students from Hillside coming together to put something together for the community. So um, the students of Hillside have had an awesome time putting, putting the film together. Um, they spent a lot of time rehearsing. And one of the things that they learned from the rehearsal process is never give up. Um, the students worked on the film uh, doing Zoom sessions and rehearsing together one-on-one. -on -one, um, and they did that process, I believe, from about maybe October all the way through until April when they did green screen work and shooting. So the students were really involved in the process and committed and it taught them a lot of responsibility and teamwork. So I think uh, audiences will get a lot out of viewing the film, but also getting a chance to see the students do their thing on stage and in the film. That's awesome. And that's good to hear that the students put so much time into it um, from that time frame you said from October to April to put this uh, play together. So I have been a part of a few Hillside Pro productions and when I was a student. So I know how that process is and practicing and it takes a lot and that's extreme dedication. And I'm glad to hear that that's still going on now um, um, after you know being an actual student there. Mr. Tab, tell us a little bit more about how this came together? How did this idea come about? Did you all come together or did Jasmine come to you with the idea and how did you guys get started? Well, we actually first um, produced the play in 2013. Um, and I came to Jasmine Joan with the idea of putting a play together. And so she came up with the idea of selecting the book, um, Why Mosquitoes Buzz in People's Ears. Because of the pandemic, I was looking for something for the students to be able to do without having to bring all of them back together because through, through the um, uh, restrictions of COVID-19, we couldn't have everybody back in the school. So I was looking for something um, that would still be able to keep them active during the pandemic. And so uh, I went back to Jasmine again and said, hey, you know, what about let's turn it into more of a screenplay and um, you know, make it into a film. And so then it started birthing itself from that and then getting with Mr. Kaysen and talking about how we can do the music again and, and coming up with new and creative ideas um, so to make it fresh um, because there's a big difference between doing, um, doing film and, and actually doing um, you know, stage production. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that's how it actually came back up, actually because of the pandemic. And so for us, um, we turned the pandemic into a positive as opposed to everybody just be sitting around and be like, oh, no, we all stuck, <laughs> you know, uh, in this situation. But for us, we were able to, to turn it into a positive. That's great. And it's like I said, with you guys practicing so over those few months during the pandemic um, with stuff just now really getting back to normal somewhat. 
um, that's good to keep that positivity and keep them, you know, creative juices flowing. So Mr. Kaysen, tell us a little bit about the music and how, you know, you've been an amazing brand, band director for many years. Um, so I know creating songs and putting a production together is something you really love. So tell us about the music and how this came a part of this production. Well, one of the things about the timing of it, I had just, when this music was written, I had just left um, the band position at Hillside right before retirement. I followed my dad's footsteps. He was a band director, but I wanted to spend my last few years in my mom's footsteps because she was an elementary school teacher. So I taught music at elementary school and it was around, I was around elementary kids all of the time with their energy. So I was writing the songs surrounded by, during that time, surrounded by the energy of the elementary students. Um, throughout my, my career, I really tried to make sure that, that my students understood process. One thing I saw as the years were going on, because of video games, you know, my generation, we were outside all day. And so we had to figure stuff out on our own. Mama said, don't come back in here. <laughs> it was time for dinner. Kids, you know, kids in, in the, um, the latter times don't process things all the time. And I'm always trying to teach kids about process. And so the process of making the music is, is reflected in the music itself. We got some Afro jazz. We have some soul R&B. So many different types of music that follow along the, the plot of the, of the actual film, which is opening up a process because what you see in front of you didn't just start that way. You got to always kind of go back. So it, the play, the music, everything about it kind of brings the students back into a mindset of how do I, how did this thing start? Let me go back and figure out what, what the origin was. And for me, the origin was being on all those elementary kids. That was my first time teaching elementary and I loved it. That's amazing. I'm glad. So I think this production is going to, or, you know, for me, it sounds like it's very, very um, been inspiring for kids during the pandemic to keep their creative juices flowing, keep them involved with, you know, everything that's going on um, and that has been going on. It, you know, it's been a very, very positive um, production that's came along. So I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to um, see that it helped all of you guys stick together and kind of bring you back, especially you out of retirement and kind of still keep you doing those things that you love doing. Um, tell us about how to purchase tickets, um, how long this production will be going and how can everyone see it? Okay, Tiffany. All right, where tickets are available at www.showticks, the number four, the letter u.com forward slash events forward slash Hillside Theater D. N C. Um, the show is streaming now and will be streaming until July the 25th. Um, it's very simple. As soon as you log in, you'll be able to purchase an access code. That access code will then be sent to your email and that's how you secure your ticket. Um, and the cool thing is you can watch the show for 48 hours. So even if you decide, hey, I want to get the family together, or if you want to take your time and make it a special event, you've got some time to do that. So take advantage. Um, tickets are $10 for general admission. But um, another cool feature is that we're offering the film to classroom teachers. So classroom teachers can uh, purchase their ticket for $25. It's an excellent uh, resource for summer school. If you're looking for something for uh, your daycare classrooms, anything like that. So uh, we invite you to take advantage. Come on and see uh, Why Mosquitoes Buzz and we hope you enjoy. Oh, that's so exciting. I definitely love the 40 hour feature. So you got time, you wanna watch it again, or maybe if you're a little tired, you're like, look, I can watch this again tomorrow. So you don't have to worry about rushing through it. That's awesome. So any more productions possibly coming up in the future that, future that would be like this, or you guys haven't really worked that out yet? Well, you know, we'll, we'll just, we'll kind of in the uh, wait and see stage right now, um, waiting on the school district to let us know when everybody's going to be back in full time uh, so that we can release the season. But we have talked, uh, Ms. Action and I have talked about the season. Uh, we have an exciting season planned, but, but you know, we don't like to release it just yet until we know that uh, the theater is going to be back open to full capacity, which we mm -hmm. are hopeful that it's going to be. Right. Uh, but we're also looking, uh, Hillside will be celebrating uh, its centennial this year. So we are going to be looking to do an original show mm. sometime uh, in February, March or, or April of 20, 
2022. So that's that's on our, 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 our you know on our plate that we know it's going to be something big for the for for the Hillside High School community. Uh, and of course, we all you know we're looking forward to our annual Christmas production of Durham's Black Nativity. Um, and I think those dates are uh, Tiffany. What are those dates, Mr. Case? What are those dates? <laughs> Uh, is it the 16th, 17th, 18th? Uh, we, yes, sir. It should be the 17th, 18th, and 19th of December. All right. All right. 17th, 18th, and 19th of December. We're looking forward to, to bringing Black Nativity Durham back as well. So so we know those two shows. And, you know, I'm looking forward to joining Mr. Casing in retirement, you know, hopefully next year. So uh, <laughs> so we'll, we'll announce that final show. Uh, sometime soon too. Well, we will we'll be looking forward to that. And of course we will be attending any of those productions. And if you retire, definitely keep us in the loop with that. Uh, so thank you so much for each one of you joining me today. It's good to see all you guys, Mr. Case and Tiffany and Mr. Tab. Um, again, this production is has been running since June 25th till the end of July. So please um, get that link and definitely click there to see this wonderful production by Hillside Drama students and departments. And the tickets are $10. Good morning, Elephant. You'll never believe what I saw yesterday. And I don't Are wait. you ready? Enough. Why? Let us wait to inquire of Mother Al herself. Fine. He's, He's the reason why today. Day it's Hillside Drama's first cinematic so production. It was the rabbit's fault! I saw her running for her life in the daytime! Enjoy the classic why. African folk tale, Dude. Why Mosquitoes Buzz. I don't know why, I don't know why. Is everyone still angry at me? Spectacular Magazine, we on the scene.